as we have come together today to remember Thomas F. Marcelino, born December 11, 1942, in Washington, D.C., and departed this life on S September the 26th, 2018, here in Sarasota, Florida. We've come together this Friday, October the 5th, 2018, to remember and to celebrate the life of a very good man, Mr. Thomas Franklin Marcelino. We are here to support his wife Elizabeth and are to be an encouragement to his son and fun family and friends. We've all lost a good friend and a neighbor, and I know we're going to miss his presence in the resort. And so, this afternoon, we turn to the Holy Scriptures for our strength and comfort. Job, who suffered much back there in the Old Testament, wrote, The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And then the 23rd Psalm of King David is one of the favorite Bible passages, and you have that recorded uh, on your bulletin, if you'd like to follow along with me, I'll be reciting that. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Shall we pray? Well, we thank you, O God, for the life of our Tom Marcelino. You gave us a good man, a kind man, a generous man, a loving man, a good neighbor, and a resident in Sun and Fun Resort to live among us. And he will be missed by many in the resort in the future. May your special blank blessing and strength and comfort be upon Elizabeth as Tom has left us with wonderful memories of our times that we spent together. And again, we thank you, Lord God, that we will always hold on to these precious memories of this good man, Tom. And we pray this now in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, as we pray and as we ask your blessing. Amen. In the Old Testament book of Ecclesiastes, in chapter 3, wise old King Solomon records these words. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. There's a time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. I want to pause for just a moment and give you some of my recollections and my connections with Tom and Elizabeth, and I'm sure that many of you could come up here uh, and tell a lot of experiences and things you've had with them. First of all, I remember that I moved into Sun and Fun Resort in 1981, and I met the Marcelinos soon after. I knew his parents, Ernest and Gladys, and I was in their home many times, just up the street from where I live. I was at Memorial Hospital with Ernest when Gladys died, and then I conducted her funeral way back in 1989. I was with Tom and Elizabeth at hospice when Ernest passed away, and then I spoke at his celebration of life service in 2005. Many, many memories. I could confide in Tom, 
and know his wisdom and his knowledge was refreshing and true. Now at this time, my wife Sharon and Tom and Elizabeth's close friend will now present information from Elizabeth about her husband, Tom. Some of this is serious, and some of it you'll find a little humorous. Thomas Franklin Marcelino was born Friday, December the 11th, 1942 in Washington, D.C. Son and only child of Gladys and Ernest Marcelino. At a young age, he developed an interest in tennis and became so good at it that he went to University in Maryland on a tennis scholarship. He became a CPA and joined Price Waterhouse, Washington, D.C. in 1964. Four years later, he transferred as a manager to their Madrid office under a European service program. Tom quickly developed a liking for Europe and the way they did business, so he decided to stay on and was later transferred to their Hague office in Holland, where he was admitted to partnership in 1975. At that time, Tom was only 32 years old and the youngest person ever to be admitted to partnership. Later on, in 1981, Tom was transferred to the Copenhagen Price Waterhouse office where he fell in love with his secretary, Elizabeth. He also hired her before he fell in love with her. <laughs> <laughs> FYI. They married in 1985 and shortly afterwards went on a 12 year long honeymoon to Turkey. Elizabeth was not too happy with Tom's choice for their honeymoon, but she had married the love of her life and also knew that together they would turn it into a great time, and they did. Oops. Tom and Elizabeth settled in well in Istanbul. As partner in charge of Turkey, Tom sometimes had to go and visit the other offices in Ankara, Izmir, and Adana. Ankara and Izmir he enjoyed, but not Adana. It was near Syria, too close and too different from Istanbul. You couldn't even get a drink there. So he always made sure that Adana was just a quick one-day visit leaving early in the morning and back again by midnight. Tom had always said he wanted to retire at age 55, and he did. So 20 years ago, he and Elizabeth started retirement in Sun and Fun, where his father Ernest was living. His mother Gladys had passed away a few years earlier. Tom loved life at Sun and Fun. Always had time for a nice gin and tonic and some laughing and talking with friends and neighbors. What he did not like was heavy work. Don't think anybody ever has seen Tom out raking or cleaning the roof. <laughs> Although I think one time Lisbon told me he did. That simply was not Tom. He did try once, yes. Convinced Lisbon that she was much better at that kind of stuff. <laughs> and she believed him and took over. Instead, Tom took care of all the cooking, and he was super good at creating delicious dishes. Did not believe in using cookery books. What do they know about cooking? Tom likes simple things. Not impressed with all that fancy stuff. An old TV and a cell phone that could barely make and receive a call. Good enough for him. If Elizabeth wanted a new couch, he said, what's wrong with the old one? And he was always one big smile when he told people he never had to buy Elizabeth jewelry because he had convinced her the jewelry did not look good on her. <laughs> <laughs> that one we really, really liked. He was a really good guy. Tom often said that retiring to Sun and Fun was one of the best decisions he ever made. Salute to the group. <laughs> but Wednesday evening, September 26th, to quote Elizabeth, Tom made another decision. This time, not a good decision. He left us. And we shall all miss him so much, especially Elizabeth. And he was a dearly loved husband, friend, neighbor. Everybody's Tom but our lives are much richer 
because we knew a man by the name of Thomas Marcelino. And Tom would not want us to be sad, at least not for a long time. Therefore, Elizabeth is asking me to read a poem called With Those Who Mourn. Tom read it at a friend's funeral in Istanbul, and Ron's former wife, Sheila, read it at Tom's father's memorial service. It's called With Those Who Mourn. As you love me, let there be no mourning when I go, no tearful eyes, no hopeless sighs, no woe, not even sadness. Indeed, I should, would not have you sad, for I myself shall be full glad with the high triumphant gladness of a soul made free. Wish me bon voyage as you do a friend whose joyous visit finds its happy end, and bid me both adieu and au revoir. Since, though I come no more, I shall be waiting there to greet you at his door, and at the feet of the bearers tread the ways I've trod. Think not of me as dead, but rather happy, thrice happy. He whose course is sped, he has gone home to God, his Father. And this was attributed to John Oxenheim. So I hope you know Tom a little better now. Thank you, Sharon. I'm so glad that uh, Elizabeth has given us this special memory of uh, remembering Tom and some of the uh, unusual things about him, his worth its work ethic, and uh, some of the humorous things that we all remember that we shared with him. Well, Sharon and I have had fellowship many times in the Marcelino's home and had them in our home to spend quality time together. And so I know the spiritual aspects of Tom's life after much dialogue with him over many, many years. And I can safely say today that Tom Marcelino had God's gift of hospitality. Hospitality. Listen to what the Bible says. In Romans chapter 12 and verse 13, the Apostle Paul wrote, share with God's people who are in need, practice hospitality. Practice hospitality. And then in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 2, that writer says, and it's a real eye-opener for most of us, do not forget to entertain strangers, for by doing so, some people have entertained angels without knowing it. And so this was the summary, I believe, of Thomas Franklin Marcelino's, Marcelino's life. He had and practiced the gift of hospitality. He loved and was hospitable to everyone that he met. Tom loved life and he appreciated the goodness and the diversity of all people. He was the epitome of a gentleman, always kind and gentle towards everyone, and treated everyone with respect, irrespective of their rank or their title. And when he retired from Price Waterhouse Europe, it was said about Tom, the last gentleman has now retired. Tom lived by the motto, you must always be able to face yourself in the mirror. I've been in, in the Marcelino's condominium in Copenhagen, Denmark three times on some of my trips overseas. The first time I was there, I have to tell this story because Tom met me at the airport. He helped me to convert my American dollars into Danish krona that they use in, in Denmark so that I would have the local currency for the next week. After my visit there, Tom taxied me back to the airport where I changed that same amount of krona back into dollars <laughs> because Tom said to me, Elizabeth and I want you and Sheila to enjoy your visit here in Copenhagen and our country of Denmark so you could experience this fantastic place. And again, 
the gift of hospitality. This was a great man, a brilliant man, hardworking, generous, loving, a faithful husband who was a good man who will always be remembered as a man of hospitality. I will always thank God that Tom Marcelino and his wife Elizabeth have been lifelong friends and neighbors in Sun and Fun Resort, and I will have those beautiful memories the rest of my life. Our friend and neighbor Tom Marcelino was very proud to be an American, very patriotic, and so Elizabeth has chosen America the Beautiful as we close our service now. And so I'd like to ask that you pray with me the Lord's Model Prayer together in closing before we hear this patriotic hymn, America the Beautiful. Can we pray? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. service this afternoon, we would like to invite you to continue our celebration of Tom's life with a reception at Boondocks Restaurant in their private room at Sun and Fun Resort as soon as we can all gather together there. Thank you for coming today and God bless you. I'm Jerry Detweiler, and I recently got to know Tom and Elizabeth. We bonded over cat rescue. Uh, Elizabeth has a great soul and heart for cats, and so do I, and we, we managed to rescue some kittens in the park. And I only got to know Tom briefly. I only met him a few times, but I could tell he was a very, very gracious person. Uh, he had a very kind and warm energy about him. 
Uh, my biggest regret is that I didn't get to know him sooner and get to know more about him because he seems like such a wonderful man. And I know his wife is certainly a beautiful person, and they, were, they seem to be a very happy and beautiful couple. Hi, I just wanted to say how much um, Tom and Elizabeth mean so much to me, and um, I got to know them through Stun and Fun as well as I think everybody has. Um, but my two da our two daughters played tennis, and I think that struck a fancy with Tom, and um, he used to come and watch them play, and Elizabeth and I became friends through the cats, and um, and through that, we just became good friends in general. And I used to go over there for such wonderful wine and cheese um, afternoons, and it turned into afternoon evening, but I'm not sure if that was a good thing, but um, it sure was fun. And I always remember Tom, and he's, he made such an impact on our lives and what a, a true gentleman he was. And thank you for this opportunity.